Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Tombstone Tourist. Once again, I'm here in Spring Hill Cemetery in Nashville, Tennessee. And today, I'm in the Crestview section, and I'm going to be visiting the final resting place of a longtime star of the Grand Ole Opry, and a member of the Country Music Hall of Fame, the great George Morgan. George Thomas Morgan was born in Waverly, Tennessee on June the 28th, 1924, but he grew up in Barberton, Ohio. By age 11, George had learned how to play the guitar, and he began appearing on local radio stations in the Akron, Ohio area. By the early 1940s, George began appearing on the WWBA Jamboree in Wheeling, West Virginia. George proved to be one of the Jamboree's most popular acts, and even though he hadn't had a hit record, he was invited to join the Grand Ole Opry on September 25, 1948. In January of 1949, George had his first recording session with Columbia Records. That session featured a number of hit songs, including what would become his signature song, Candy Kisses, which reached number one on the country charts. By April of 1949, George had three singles on the Billboard Top 10 Country Chart. Candy Kisses was at number one, Rainbow in My Heart at number eight, and Don't Let Me Love You at number nine. Later in 1949, he placed three more singles in the top 10, including Room Full of Roses, Cry Baby Heart, and I Love Everything About You. George was one of the most popular and enduring performers on the Grand Ole Opry, and he holds the distinction of being the last person to sing on the stage of the Ryman Auditorium before the Opry moved to the new Opry House in March of 1974. The next week, when the Opry opened in the new Opry House, out at Opryland, George Morgan was the first person to sing on the stage of the new Opry House. George also had the opportunity of introducing his 13-year-old daughter, Lori, in her initial appearance on the stage of the Grand Ole Opry. Lori Morgan, who sang Paper Roses that night, went on to become a popular country music star in her own right. In July of 1975, George underwent open heart surgery. Following the surgery, he suffered a heart attack and passed away at the age of 51 on July the 7th, 1975. Well, I'm going to end this video here at the grave of Country Music Hall of Famer George Morgan. If you remember George or any of the people that we visit in these videos, please share your memories with us in the comments. If this is your first time here, I'd like to welcome you to my channel and hope you'll stick around. I upload a new Tombstone video every Sunday morning, so if you find these visits interesting, please consider ringing that bell and subscribing. And while you're at it, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. So, until next time, please remember, life is a wonderful journey. Take time and enjoy it. And I'll see you down the road. So long, everybody.